The beef between 50 Cent and Jaru happens to be one of a kind in the history of rap music and despite the enmity between these two men, 50 Cent happens to be one guy that will always open your eyes to see the truth in people and on this particular clip I'm about to play for you all, he did exactly the same to Jaru and his career with his record label Mother Inc. But before we get into it, smash that like button and subscribe. See your favorite African brother reporting. Check out this clip. If you take a close look at guys like Ja Rule, you'll see that they walk with a crutch. In his case, it was the image of a gangster. He took DMX's flow, dressed up like Tupac, and tried to rap about other people's lifestyles. It worked for a second, but as I said, when you're walking with a crutch, there's a limit on how far you can go. Ja grew up as a Jehovah's Witness on the better side of Queens than I did. The only time he came to my part of town is when he would knock on the door and try to sell copies of the Watchtower. A nice religious boy, there's nothing wrong with that. But the people around him, like Irv, tried to turn him against his true nature as a gentle guy and transform him into a gangster instead of accepting his blessings. His talent for fun, female-oriented music, they were hell-bent on turning him into something negative. When they got a record deal with Def Jam, what did they call it? Murder Inc. Records. They had an open road in front of them, but they decided to paint themselves into a dangerous corner. Since none of them were actual murderers, they started seeking out people who had that energy. They eventually found what they were looking for, and it almost brought the whole company down. That's what ruined Ja Rule's career. If you carefully listen to what 50 Cent just said about Jaru and how he ended up destroying his own career, you will understand the whole idea behind gangster rap music. Most of your favorite rappers who rap about women, drugs, and violence in their music are not really living that life in real life. They are just doing it to entertain their fans and make a lot of money. When it comes to Jaru, according to what 50 Cent said, you will understand in real life he's just a cool guy and a church guy who didn't grow up or lived a rough life in the streets of New York. But the rap music was what actually introduced him to that life and it ended up killing his career along the way because he wasn't staying true to himself and he made a huge mistake by beefing with a real gangster who understands how the streets really works and how the whole rules plays out which is 50 cents but i want to hear from you guys share your opinions in the comment section and tell me what you all think about this situation don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe see your favorite african brother reporting